Hey there, first grade Panthers. Miss Fallon here bringing you the last lesson for math for this week. Happy Friday. Um, we are going to be working again with addition using place value. Our learning goal today is the same as yesterday. We're going to be adding numbers together, adding the tens to the tens and the ones to the ones. We're going to do a quick review of how to use quick tens and ones to do this um, addition, how to use number bonds to do this type of addition, and then also we're going to be looking at dimes and pennies today. So, ooh, get excited! All right, so our first problem, 19 plus 2. Let's start out using our quick tens and ones to do this problem. 19 has how many tens? 110. And how many ones? Nine ones. Awesome job. And now we need to add two. Are we going to be adding two to the tens or will we be adding two to the ones? We're adding two to the ones. So here come my two. Now, I want you to think for a second about why I drew my two extra ones that I added on the way that I did. Let's go back for a second. We had 19 with 110 and nine ones. We're adding two. One, two. Why do you think I drew them in this way? So I drew them this way because nine ones plus one more one made a group of, you guessed it, 10. So I drew them the way that I did so that you could see the group of 10 and cross it off using a quick 10 to know that that is a group of 10. So when we count now, we'd count 10, 20, 21. So 19 plus 2 equals 21. We were able to make a new group of 10 to make the counting even easier. Now let's review how to use the number bond method to do our tens and ones and our addition. So 19 plus two, we are going to take the 10 out of 19, which gives us 10 and what? Good, nine, 10 and nine. So are we going to add the ones Yes, we're going to add the two to the nine ones. So nine plus two, nine, 10, 11. Nine plus two equals 11. Awesome. Now we can't forget about that 10 that's over there. So we have to add that 10 back in. And we'll be doing 10 plus 11. Now I know 10 plus 10 is 20, so just add on that one more and you get an easy 21. So 11 plus 10 equals 21, and we have now the same answer that we got when we did our quick tens and ones. Great job. Now let's talk about pennies and dimes. This is what a dime looks like. It's the smallest coin and it is um, silver. Dimes are worth 10 cents. So we're going to use dimes to represent our tens. Here's what a penny looks like. It is the copper looking coin. It's a little bit bigger than the dime, but it's only worth one cent. So pennies are going to be our ones. So let's solve a problem using pennies and dimes. Our problem is 16 plus 20. Let's start with the number 16. How many tens are in 16? 
That's right, one. So I'm gonna use one dime. Um, notice how I just labeled it with a 10 on there. So what you, when you're drawing dimes and pennies, you could just draw a circle with a 10 to show me it's a dime. All right, so here's our 110. We're gonna use our dime for our 110. And then how many ones are in 16? Six, so that means we need six pennies, which represent our ones. All right. So then we're going to add 20. How many tens are in the number 20? Two. Will we be adding those two to the tens or to the ones? To the tens. So we need two more tens, which means we need two more dimes. Great. Now we can count to find out how many we have all together and what our answer is. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So 16 plus 20 is 36. Awesome. Now you are ready for your problem set. Go ahead and take out your problem set and take a look at the first two problems. We have, for number one, 16 plus three. Now we are going to be using quick tens and ones to solve this problem. So we'll start with the number 16. We know 16 has one 10 and good, six ones. Now we need to add three. Are we going to be adding three to the tens or to the ones? Good, to the ones. Awesome. Now we can count to find out what our answer is. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 16 plus three equals 19. Awesome. Number two is a little trickier, so let's see if we can find out what happens. 17 plus three using quick tens and ones. We'll start with 17, draw your quick one, your quick 10. How many tens will you be drawing? One 10. And your ones, how many ones do we need for 17? Good, seven. Now we need to add three. Are we adding three to the tens or the ones? By now I know you know this answer. We're adding it to the ones, duh. All right, so there's our three extra ones. Now, oh my goodness, I'm noticing something. We had seven ones, we added three more. I know that seven and three are a partner of 10. So that means that we just made a group of 10. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We just made a new group of 10, that's awesome. So what could we do? Yes, draw that quick 10 right over top of it. And now it makes it easy peasy, lemon squeezy to count. We have 10, 20. So 17 plus three equals 20. Awesome job. All right, so you can go ahead and get um, moving on your problem set. You are gonna see a problem or two that incorporates those pennies and dimes. So don't forget that dimes are tens and pennies are ones. And you can draw a circle with the number 10 or the number one in them to help you. And don't forget, you can always come back to visit the video if you need some extra help. I hope you have had an awesome week, Panthers, and I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of your Friday.